So in this video, we're going to talk about laser recombination or the sources of recombination in lasers and what they physically correspond to. So in the last video, we talked a lot about this R total quantity, and this was the important quantity in our rate equation. And now we would like to figure out what R total is in terms of ideally the carrier density, uh, but also other sources of recombination. So if we're completely ignorant, we can just write that we know that there's going to be some stimulated emission, so there's going to be some recombination term due to stimulated emission, and there's going to be some other uh, recombination. So we don't necessarily know what this is at this point, but we know that there's other recombination processes going on. Now, if we're completely ignorant, we can just write this, uh, if we want it, this proportionality in terms of n, so we want this as a function of our carrier density n, we can just say, well, you know what, screw it, let's just Taylor series expand the thing. So I've got some coefficient a times n plus some coefficient b times n squared plus some coefficient c times n cubed. And this is what's known as the ABC approximation. And it's actually a legit thing, like people actually use this approximation. Now you might say, why is there no constant term? Like why is there no, like, I don't know, a naught here that's not proportional to n? And the answer is that if you don't have any carriers, uh, if you don't have any carriers, you can't have them recombine. No recombine. So we can't have a constant carrier recombination that's not proportional to the carrier density. That would be non-physical. So we can rewrite our total recombination now as our stimulated emission plus this ABC approximated term. And it'll turn out that this term, uh, this is actually due to shockley reed hall recombination. Like it has a physical reason for why it's there. This term is due to spontaneous emission. So this is the emission that happens in LEDs. This is just the, uh, the random, essentially random transition from electrons in the conduction band to the valence band if given enough time. So this is the spontaneous emission term. And this term is what's known as Auger recombination. And this is a multi-particle uh, recombination process that basically involves one of these electrons getting kicked up uh, to a higher energy and at the same time causing an electron to move down in energy. And there's a lot of complicated physics that goes in to figuring out why exactly these terms are proportional to n, n squared, and n cubed. Uh, I'll just briefly mention uh, that this shockley reed hall recombination is based on intermediate traps. So I might make a, a future video on that, but basically we've got a bunch of intermediate energy levels, uh, E-trap, that our electrons can transition to. So our electrons can transition to, and similarly a hole will come up from this valence band if the trap isn't already empty. And then the electron transitions back down to the valence band without ever emitting a useful uh, photon for us. And spontaneous emission in the future we'll see is, uh, can be written in terms of some coefficient b times the np product, or if n is equal to p, then some coefficient just times n squared. And Auger recombination we might also talk about in the future. But the physics involved is fairly complex and we're not gonna get into it here. So now we have an answer for what our total recombination rate is in terms of the carrier density. Now we don't have the stimulated emission in terms of the carrier density, but generally we want to solve for the stimulated emission. So we, we can just rearrange the resultant rate equation to figure out what the stimulated emission is. And so in future videos, we're going to be using this ABC approximation to figure out what our, uh, for example, what our stimulated emission or our spontaneous emission rates are as a function of the carrier density. And that will give us the same as the function, as a function of current. So we will be able to figure out the, what are called the LI curves or the emission as a function of current. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. Um, if you have any questions or comments, also feel free to put those down underneath and I'll try to get back to you as, as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.